Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. As you can see, here I have the iPad Air 5 in purple here on my left and the iPad Pro in gray from 2021 here on my right. Now, one of the reasons I decided to do this video was primarily due to me noticing a quite a performance difference between both of these devices despite both having the same M1 chip. After doing some recent FPS tests with Apex Legends, Genshin Impact, and New State Mobile, I began to quickly tell that these devices do not share the same level of M1 performance. And to my surprise, not too many tech reviewers are actually making note of this, which I found very interesting since many are indeed buying the iPad Air 5 and expecting that top-notch M1 performance. Anyways, I hope this video was informative, and with that being said, let's dissect and look at the performance differences between both of these devices. So starting with the CPU, since this is where I noticed the least amount of performance difference, I'll be using Geekbench 5 to conduct this test. As it pertains to the CPU, as expected, I'm not seeing much of a difference as both single core and multi-core scores is relatively in the same realm of performance. However, I must note the iPad Pro is showcasing a slight performance improvement compared to the iPad Air 5. Now with the CPU out of the way, let's look at the GPU which is where I suspect a gap in performance. And again, GPU translates to gaming and or video editing type of tasks. Anyways, as you can see, I'll be using 3 Mark Wildlife for this GPU test. Now when looking at these results, specifically the lowest loop scores, here we can see a 20% difference in GPU performance. In my opinion, this is quite a big gap. Now, the lowest loop scores is more important as this reflects sustained performance as no one is playing a game or editing rendering a video for just a minute. Therefore, with this test, Again, we are seeing a 20% gap in GPU performance, which is rather huge. I think it's very important for buyers to be mindful of when purchasing the iPad Air 5. Anyways, moving on to the last test, here I will use N22 Benchmark as this is a great way to test the overall performance including both the CPU and GPU of both of these devices. And here we go. Now for this last test, this just confirms my theory, as we can clearly see again, the iPad Pro does indeed have a more powerful M1 chip. When looking at the overall scores, we're seeing about a 20% performance difference between both of these devices, and specifically the GPU area as well, which again in my opinion, is a pretty huge gap, and definitely noticeable when gaming or rendering videos with both devices side by side. In conclusion, as you saw, the iPad Air 5 is indeed 20% slower in GPU performance compared to the iPad Pro, despite both devices having the same M1 chip. I think this is very important to know, especially if you were considering buying the iPad Air 5 over the Pro, maybe due to pricing and expecting that same level of performance. Anyways, I hope this video was informative. Please stay tuned for some exciting FPS tests with this iPad Air 5 and other Android devices. Please stay safe and see you all next time.